look at him. He's like a wrinkly old man trying to walk with some wet nappies on. <laughs> This is the subject for today. It's a little snake neck turtle and Jenny and I are going to paint this. First we're going to sketch it. So out comes the sketch pads, we're doing some sketching. We like to draw the animals, the turtles or any animals doing to it, it familiarises us with their features and I find that once I've drawn something it's, it changes the way I look at it forever and I always notice its details after that. Jennifer often paints in these bright, vibrant acrylic colours. She started off a very realistic style, now she's stylized people and her paintings are very cheerful and bright and they sort of describe or express the feelings that animal lovers have towards animals. Bill's art ranges from detailed paintings, wildlife illustration and printmaking. But today, Bill's going to be using his cartooning skills to show us just how amusing these little guys are. Look at that neck, no wonder they call them snake neck. Yep, this is the uh, common, sometimes called eastern long neck, sometimes called snake neck. Snake neck. So a lot of the turtles, well, most of the turtles in Australia, they, their necks are side folding, they fold into the carapace like that. Some cases the neck on these guys is so long it's actually as long as the carapace itself. It's, that's the technical name, the carapace, that's the shell. These guys are found in habitats, usually like in, in rivers and uh, slow moving water, dams, and creeks. Fre fresh water. Fresh water, yeah, it's a freshwater turtle. It's found all down the eastern side of Australia and through to South Australia as well. Uh, oh, no, they'll get out and they'll bask during the day. They'll bask on a rock, so they've often been seen if you, if you quietly approach the river. You'll, hear, you'll either hear kaplunk or if you're really lucky you might just see it basking before it jumps in. They're very shy. When I hold these guys, I always hold the back towards me and the belly away from me. Reason is just here, they can shoot out urine like a skunk. Now they, uh, it, it stinks really bad. Another name for these guys is stinker. This uh, really offensive stinking fluid gets shot out. It smells like decaying vegetables. When, when these guys, uh, what, the whole reason for the snake neck, okay, when it's hunting, it'll, it'll bring its uh, head back, just like a snake ready to strike, and it will strike out like a snake. It'll grab tadpoles, it'll have small fish, insects, worms, crustaceans, mollusks, you know, they're, they're very uh, voracious carnivore, but they're a predator as well. So that's why the long neck, so they can predate upon their prey. The females will lay between two to ten eggs in the banks oh, of the river. Oh dear. 
and uh, after about five months the hatchlings will come out and the young turtles will often fall prey to predators such as fish or birds and they lay about one to three clutches throughout the year. Now when, when I was a teenager I had a couple of these turtles as pets for a short time. They were from the wild. I brought them home, just kept them for a short time and then released them again. Now the way that I found them I was in Menai uh, in Sydney, which uh, used to be a bushland. I was barbecuing with my family and uh, we were just packing up. My father had cooked the chops and he just put the, uh, the grill down into the water to soak because it's hard to get meat off, off the grill. And we were just chatting away and we looked over and there was lots of swirling near the grill. And then we saw faces coming up. And there were three turtles, all feeding off the meat scraps off our barbecue grill. So we came over really slowly. They went away. But we sat there really quietly, and they all came back and fed in front of us. I reached in and grabbed two, brought them home just to study and look at, observe their, their necks, their shells, and then a couple of weeks later, we let them go in the exact same spot. But that was fascinating how they'd come up and uh, clean our barbecue for us. Oh, Bill! Oh. It, was, it, it, it was the turtle. No, honest. No, no, honestly, it was the, it was the turtle. Finished my painting. Now I'm taking it over to show Bill, and we'll see what he thinks. Come, let's see. Thank you. 